back. You know, this morning we are cooking with cake and we're talking about getting things fresh and really fun and delicious for back to school. This morning we have Paige Alexander with her food blog, Food Fitness by Paige. Right. And, you know, we're, we're just talking about ways to kind of thinking outside that box with getting everyone set for their school lunches and right. being healthy that's the most important part for right? kids and for adults yeah i mean this is doesn't hurt you or any anybody else big doesn't kids hurt any too, of us right? right absolutely so what kind of things can we do in terms of thinking well what i oh like gosh. most is make sure that you include a fruit and a vegetable mm -hmm. in every day and make it fun for the kids involve them do a little fruit chart or a vegetable chart and maybe a fruit of the day or a vegetable of the day and if slicing the fruit is important to your kids because they won't eat it yeah. unless it's cut up, do that the night before. Anything you can do the night before for prep work is huge. Thumbs up. Huge for the next morning. And if encouraging them to eat their vegetables, if you need to add a little ranch dip or hummus or peanut butter, that doesn't hurt. Try to stick to single ingredient snacks like the almonds or the cheese sticks. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to chips, I love doing the baked vegetables, the roasted vegetables, like these kale chips. I have up on my Facebook page, Food Fitness by Page, right now, an article that has all these recipes. Is this for hard to make? No, so no. easy. It's just olive oil yeah. and a little nutritional yeast and salt and pepper. Actually, whatever seasonings that you like, you could toss do it in that. there. Roasted yeah. chickpeas. But, you know, if you're going to do the chips, try and stick to the 100 calorie at least. Mm -hmm. But if you can get more vegetables in, the better. And then my big pet peeve is those cellophane wrapped desserts. Oh, don't no. Do them. Okay. Don't do, them. don't do them. Don't fall for it. There are so <laughs> many other great options. I rarely use flour. I use ground up oats. Mm -hmm. uh, great a zucchini. Have you ever done that? Great a zucchini. I've done zucchini bread, but you can use it for other Just, purposes? Yes. It's okay. a great moisturizer. Okay. That cool. yogurt, uh, a ground up apple. Mm -hmm. um, pumpkin. Pureed pumpkin is wonderful. These are all uh, desserts made with those ingredients and they're so easy to whip together and energy balls with protein powder I use a powdered peanut butter where they have pressed all the oil out and that makes wonderful flavor with cocoa powder and flaxseed your kids will not know that you are eating healthy stuff so it's with a little bit of work, you can really cook outside the box yeah. and make it fun and healthy for the kids. I love the idea of using like those vegetables or those fruits and, and making them a part of this. So you're just squeezing you're a little bit of extra. Yeah, hide, They'll never know. They never know. And it, <laughs> these, I mean, it really does smell quite delicious. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not fibbing on that one. And maybe I'm just hungry, but I, I think these are great ideas for people with going and approaching you know that the back to school stuff i know it's easy sometimes to grab those things that are wrapped up but you know that planning it really will make a difference to the, your kids health the big thing is involve your kids in making these like you said they're easy to get them to want to do it incorporate them in the making process same way with the dessert have them be in the kitchen with you making it and they're much more likely to be compliant right absolutely so do well, that. perfect and if people want to see more of these recipe ideas and more what do they need to head to okay Food Fitness by Page at my Facebook. I have the article up right now with all these recipes, so it's easy just to zip over there, and they're all there waiting for you to discover. All right, Paige Alexander, we have a link to that actually up on our Facebook fan page right now, so if you want to go and check it out, there you go, Food Fitness by Page. We appreciate your time this morning. We'll be back Thanks. with your forecast as well as the 10 things you need to know. Coming up next. TGIM, it's Monday Madness at Spangles, half price.